Hey, what's good guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy zen and we are back at it again you know what time it is bro Stop. hammer time hammer time <laughs> all my hammer bros and girls let me get you up in the comment section bro i need to see you y'all need to stand up let it be known let all the weapons know why you come in bro let them know the power of the bulk <laughs> we need to see it. it's time to debunk this debate bro about what the better weapon is man absolutely <clears throat> long story for life mm. but anyway <laughs> Don't add me. Anyway, man, hey, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I brought some heat for y'all today. The speed runners are, oh, bro. When I tell you they fire, the, the these these hammer main, they, bro. Some some in the juice, some in the hammers, bro. Cause they just they just built different. I ain't gonna lie to you. They just built real different, man. So. Anyway, man, hopefully you guys like this content. If you do like this content, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to your boy. I also stream on Twitch. So subscribe to me there as well, man. I'm so excited. We all are absolutely obliterating the channel, man. We're so close to being monetized, bro. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers and that's it. We in it, we in the game, baby. And that's just me, more videos, more content, more shorts, bro. I'm just like, I'm so fired up, I love it. I have so much content planned for you guys. I just appreciate all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. But anyway, man, I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, stay zen. All righty, guys, let's just go ahead and just like not even play around. Let's just go ahead and just dive into it, bro. I'm too excited. These runners are so clean, so crisp, crispy. <laughs> I love it, bro. Hey, too excited, too excited, too mad excited, man. But anyway, so this runner may look a little familiar. Why? Because I've actually ran with this runner um, recently on my channel, bro. I want to say a few weeks ago. Um, we did a few runs together. We did like a Namiel Karen run. Um, we're actually working on some runs now coming up. So I'm super excited about that. But that aside, this dude popped up out of nowhere, like nowhere. And just started taking the hammer scene. When I say dude's a hammer, bro, dude's a hundred percent a hammer, bro, dude. Like it's ridiculous ridiculous he comes in bro he has so many runs like he's like been uploading like crazy so if you guys haven't checked him out he deserves so much attention like i when i tell you like this is certain content creators where you just feel like bro you deserve so much more like this guy 100 percent, he does i always love uplifting the community i always love looking at my fellow brothers and be like hey man especially speedrunner brothers and be like yo go go after it keep getting it keep grinding hey man Hey, this dude's a grinder. He puts in the work, bro. The name of this runner is Safico. Safico is an amazing dude, and I love his runs. They're always so crispy. But this is the crazy thing. Like, he's super humble. Like, I got to meet him in, like, like, uh, like run with him quite frequently. And he's just a super humble, humble guy. Like, just super relaxed. You know what I mean? So, anyway, let's just go ahead, uh, dive into it. Um, this is the Narga Cougar run, and I believe this is the world record run, bro. So, I'm so excited behind this. Yes, dude. And this is the crazy thing. Like, I feel, um, hey, I just love this intro. This intro's lit. But, um, anyway, so, uh, dude is, like, super humble, bro. Like, ridiculously humble when I ran with him. Like, and... Like, I feel like I've only ran with a select few of Hammer Bros. 
Like, I feel like it's like a prerequisite. Like, they just gotta be like calm as hell. Like, just super chill. Kind of like that that guy in the back of the classroom that's just like, yeah, it's whatever, bro. It's, like, it's almost like they're high, but you know what I mean? Like, they just high off life because they just, everything is just, yeah, man, it's, it's whatever. And they're good, you know what I mean? Uh oh, kind of froze up on this. Uh, there we go. Ugh, tech difficulties. I think that's just on the YouTube thing. Okay. Yup. Nice. And this, this I do believe is a world record because it was crazy. He was battling this out with another runner by the name of Lagiao, Lugiao, I believe I said it right. Well, I featured him on his channel before. Um, and he got the world record, then Lugiao got the red, world record, then he got the world record again, then Lugiao did it again, and then he finally did it. I love this competitivism, bro. Like, oh, it's so good. Yes, this is what we need in speed running. I love it. Time beat, time next. I love it. Just keep going. Too easy. Hit him with the, oh, uh, with the wall. <laughs> he felt that one. Uh, love it. Weave. Oh, okay, nice. Just good positioning. No need for a weave. Let's go. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what it is, bro, but I feel like the hammer in World just hits harder than it does in Rise. Like, in Rise, I don't feel the hits. Like, it needs, like, a little bit more bass to it. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm talking about when I say, like, you feel the hits? Like, I feel this. I see it, you know, and then you kind of, I guess the graphics too kind of help because you see the spit come from their mouth when they get knocked out. Ooh! <laughs> Bro, that's like, like, look how smooth that is. 204. That's almost a sub, too. I guarantee you, like, like, balls to the wall if he was just going, like, straight up. RNG's perfect. Everything's perfect. You know what I mean? She stays on peak. Don't, like, nothing. Guarantee you probably could get a sub, too. But that's that's a peak run. Like, dude, yes. Yes, bro. And he also did this run. Um, yeah, see, that was the one he did earlier. Oh, shoot. I think I got it done. But yeah, dude, like, if you guys, like, I love his art. I love his uh, his design, too. Like, his thumbnails is fire. Like, yeah, man. Uh, I, I feel weird, bro, because I feel like kind of, like, gush over, you know what I'm saying, speedrunners that just, like, do good work. I don't know what it is, but I'm excited, bro. I fucking love running. It's lit. You know what I mean? It's fire. If y'all not runners, bro, like, I'm telling you, it's just, it's just a fun thing to do. It, it gets tiresome, obviously, like anything, but it's even better to watch. To just marvel at people good at their craft um, and coming in and do the work. You know what I mean? It's just lit. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. On to the next one. Alrighty, guys. On to the next runner. Yes, sir. Hey, look. This is funny. We actually got a uh, a guest runner, bro, with a very familiar name. Yes, sir. Without further ado, you all know him. The next runner is Peppo. Huh? <laughs> nah, I'll just play. Yo, no cap though. The dude's name is Peppo. But he's a hammer main, and no, it's not the pepper that we all know and love. The weave slinging slasher, weave slinging hasher. <laughs> no, man, it's a hammer main pepo. You know what I mean? So I love it. Dude's a fire, bro. Like, he's actually been around for about like four or five years, bro. So, like, dude's an expert in the game. He's been running since World was in base. You know what I mean? He's done Rise. He got a lot, a lot of content, man. So, Let's just go ahead and dive into it. I believe this is a uh, Zenoga run. Yeah, this is a Zenoga run. So, and as always, guys, like I always do, I make sure that all the runners are in the description, um, the name of the run, uh, so you guys can always just like pop in, show love, bro, and just kind of piece your interest. You can kind of see what they, you know, have to offer. And this dude goes hard, man. He's a he's he's kind of a veteran game. I think he came in around the time retro. Uh, if you guys know who that runner is. Um, Around that time when he was kind of coming up, I think. Nice. Here we go. Think, think, think. Yes, sir. Weekend. Let's go. Let's go to work. Give me that. Evasion prot. Bonk. Yes, sir. Now we just working them. Working them. Ding, ding, ding. Let's go. 982, bro. That's spicy. Mm. Pink. 
Yes. They need weakens the arms too? I didn't know the arms uh, were really good hit zones for the hammer. I didn't know that. It's good to go. Side note, guys, if you didn't know it, when you uh, put down a shark trap on Zenogre, he'll automatically charge up. You want him to charge up. Here's why. You get more damage. He's like in a softer like mode, if you will, or like his zones get a little bit better, a little more beefier. You know what I mean? So you can uh, get a little bit more damage. And so if you see a lot of runners do that, I, um, which is kind of crazy. I didn't see that in the past a lot. But speci uh, specifically for like freestyle runs, that's why they do that. You get more damage. Because I think it was like 982 for the big hit that he did. Let me see. I think it was 982. Weave. Oh, okay, he's evasion metal right now. That's why. Nice. Bam. Ooh. Bro, he's cooked. Like, the run is done, basically. Yeah, he got to move a little bit of time on that one. Oh, I see why he went over there. He ran for the uh, Thorn Pod. Nice. Yeah, KO. Love it. So, also, side note, Thorn Pods build up KO damage. So, you want those. If you guys see him, the Thorn Pod, the pod that he just uh, uh, shot at at a um, Zenogre, if you hit him in the head and then you end up hitting it with your weapon, it'll make, like, this little crackle pop thing. Um... And it builds up your stun damage like so much faster. You do that, you shoot the monster like once or twice with that thing. Two hits, he's KO immediately. So just find a little side down, especially if you're doing group hunts. It's really good to do that. Really good. And some monsters that have high KO uh, values, uh, usually they drop the thorn pods. Just a little side note. I always try to throw a little, uh, little hunting tips in there, guys, uh, for you guys who didn't know. Even though this game is like six six years old, you know what I mean? Almost seven. We Oh no, that's right, the hammer mode. Um I think the hammer mode like like gives you like hyper armor for a little bit, I think, I wanna say. Yeah, when you hit like right trigger B, because you can regularly charge up your hammer and then like you can like power charge it up. And when you power charge it up, it gives you like uh Ooh spicy yeah he didn't play no games bro he was uh he was beating that dog senseless yikes <laughs> sorry scooby <laughs> i love it bro man watching the hammer is so satisfying it's just a whole bunch of slapping around a monster you know what i mean like it's not even like it's like <laughs> you just see him spitting all over the place it's just nice you know it's kind of relaxed chill it's just nice. I love it. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyway, on to the next one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Righty then. Guys, okay. Hey, check this. Come closer. <clears throat> when I tell you, this hammer main is disgusting. I mean, just disgusting. If, if you want Hammerman content, you need, you need to follow this man. It's ridiculous. Like, it's it's Bonk City. It's it's a hammer shrine, if I will. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, this guy is, uh, I believe he's a Hammerman. Also, side note, I think he's also a, a GS main, too. So, like, why not, bro? You know what I'm saying? Dude is disgusting. I love it. The name of this runner, um, I believe, is Ultra Bomb or bomb for short, you know what I mean? Uh, dude's lit, he literally like, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, well, what can I say? I'm fumbling over my words because I'm gushing over how much these runs do, like how good his runs are. This is great. And he's uh, part of like a, a team, I believe. I wanna say it's a team, but I don't know the team name. Like if anybody, we'll get there. But if anybody knows the team he's a part of, please, for the love of God, put it in the comment section below. Or if he's watching it, bomb, bomb. If you're watching this, dude, what is the name of your team, bro? I need to know this because you guys are ridiculous. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, dive in, shall we? <laughs> Hammer time, baby! Get it to uh, Nice little tender. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> 
Okay, nice little poison. Yup, sorry, get him cooking. Get him cooking. Yeah, I want to say this build looks like it's going to be heroic running because it doesn't have that fatty buffs on it. Yup, side. Nice little swipe. Bro, if you guys didn't know, when you fight Shara on the side, it's like these little rocks that you can get to make it fall down. It took me the longest time to figure it out, like, years. Didn't even know that. It wasn't until I watched, like, a Team Dark Side video that did that. It's nutty. Jesus. Bro, is this not satisfying? Damn. Ooh. 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 Like, he's, like, smashing rocks, bro. Like, yes. Here we go. Think. Yeah, this is a. Uh, it's gotta be Heroic's run, because he's letting them hit him like that. Oh, yeah. Now, now it's time to get beefy. Time to get beefy. Hit it go! Okay, so he blew up to go ahead and make sure he got the recoverable damage. Um, so if you got Heroic's, the. Um, if you end up getting hit, sometimes your recoverable damage, the little red bar that kind of comes behind your green bar, will fill up. So you want to use a little small bomb to get rid of that. That's what that's for. For all the newbies. Ugh. Pink? Bro, 727. Bro, it's just not satisfying. You know all I'm thinking about? Because I'm thinking about, like, the Snow White and the Seven Doors. And that little thing. That ding, 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 ding. The whole way through. <laughs> In the mind, in the mind. We dig, 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 dig. I'm, I'm still dig. <laughs> I love it. Nice. Nice, bro. And that's just a little extra damage to the bomb in his arms. Now, that bomb that he just threw, I think it was like an aerial bomb. Um, That bomb is to knock down the rocks behind me. If you see in the far left a little bit, it knocks down the rocks behind the monster. There's another like set of rocks that you can do, um, that you can hit to uh, drop the monster right at the beginning um, of this stage. So just kind of a little side note, if you're looking to kind of speed run um, Shara, that's a good little strat to have. Or if you're just doing multiplayer, you can set a bomb right there on the side. And I think if you look on the map, it'll show you, like, it'll show you the little shock, it looks like a, it looks like a shock trap. Those were where all the uh, rocks are. So, it's a little fun things to know, you know what I mean? Nice. Ooh! Yeah, bro, you're cooked. You're cooked. Let him cook. Chef Boyart. DZ. Love it. Nice. He actually does decent damage on the arms. Stubbing them toes. <laughs> bro, that's so flipping quick. That is so quick for Shara, bro. Oh my god. I remember when I first fought this monster. Guys, let me know in the comment section. What was it like fighting Shara? Like, that whole. I think one of the best end games that we've ever had. Like, end game monster. It's probably Shara. Like, now I think about it, dude. Yeah. Like, I mean, uh, Shagamagalo, I mean, um,. Shag was pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Magala, Gore Magala was good, and you know, uh, Shag Magala and, and Chaotic and all that. That was great. Love that story. That's what's that for you, I think, or four? I'm sorry, four. Um, that in game was pretty good. Um, but I, I, I want to say, yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about right here. Here's the rocks. My ADHD is kicking in hard. <laughs> all right, bet. So, anyway, all right, let me finish my thoughts. So, what was I saying? I think Shara is one of the best monsters that we have had, um, like, for an in-game monster. It was just well executed. Iceborne, like, executed that super well. Like, just think about it. We went from fighting Nergigante, ruining Nergigante, which was already exciting enough. Like, when you first start, and you're like, oh my god, I got to fight a ruiner, oh my god. Another version of, like, Nergigante, ah, you fight him, you beat him. And then you're like, okay, cool, this is the end. Um, and then out of nowhere, Shara shows up. Like, boom, Shara. You know what I mean? And then he's a big-ass rock. And you're like, oh, shit. And then out of the rock comes, like, Shara. And now he looks like some, like shrine monster straight from the pits of hell you know what i mean like dude is lit and his design is ridiculous you know what i mean 
Like, I feel like sometimes we get so, I mean, obviously it's six years in, but sometimes we just got to take a step back and really appreciate, like, the designs of these monsters, man. Like, and then we do that, and then we have the bomb cut scene with Ruiner Nergi, like, making him his own personal bitch, and then turn him into a midnight snack, and then transition into Guiding Lens, which led to a whole nother slew of monsters. Bro, when I tell you Capcom was stroking us, uh, bro, they were, they were giving it to us good, bro. And they were building it up. I mean, they were patient lovers. <laughs> Pause. I don't know where that came from. Stop it. Get some help. But look, hey, man, they were patient. They gave us all the foreplay, worked us up to it, and said, no, we're not done. There's, sec there's, there's a happy ending. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, I need to stop. Okay, on to the next one. <laughs> Jesus. Alrighty guys, okay, so we're on to the next one. Um, so this guy is actually on the same team as Bomb. He's part of their group, another hammer bro. Like, it's kind of crazy because like how crazy good these guys are, man. Like it's 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 just nutty. You already saw what Bomb could do, so now you're gonna see him um and another one of his uh teammates which let me remember his name it was uh it was zetin zetin was his name dude is amazing bro both of them are, are lit and zetin is also a part of their uh i guess like their team runs that they do because they do like a crap ton of like four man hammer team runs like it's kind of nutty these guys are like a whole group it's like a whole clan a clan of hammer bros you know what i mean or gals we don't know but we don't assume so anyway bro it's lit i'm so excited um Let's go ahead and just dive into it. Dude, I gotta, I gotta analyze. Hammers have some of the like litest designs for weapons. It's pretty cool, especially like Shara's uh, hammer. It's like a hand palm, I think it's lit. And this was even lit too, cause it's, it's uh, Brackadillas' tail, which is crazy. You know what I mean? Love it. Oh, they doing a heroics run? Ooh, that's risky. Ooh. All right, let's check, let's check it out. All right, so he's cooking. Um, he may want to. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was gonna say. He may want to put that fire out, homeboy. Oh yeah. Did he put him to sleep? No, he not. Okay, he he must have wall banged him. Beautiful start. Eight fifty eight. Nice. You didn't even see heard him roar yet. Jesus. Hey, excellent teamwork. This is a dual run, by the way, dude. This is crazy. Excellent run. Already starting out super clean, super crisp. Dude, we're, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're already 20,000 damage already into the fight, bro. Weave. Oh, and this is a Frostcraft Heroics build. Ooh, bro, that's, that's, that's nutty. That's nutty. Okay, so them transitioning over to the trap. Yup, I already know how this is going to end. Ooh, it's hammer time. Put him in there. It's about hammer time. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, they found a way to stay on the ledge. Oh, yes. Yeah, you're done. You're cooked. You're cooked. Ge it's absolutely genius, bro. Five star IQ to uh, uh, over 9,000. IQ over 9,000. Absolute. Yes, King Pink. Oh, seven nine five. Oh, oh! <laughs> Dude, tell me was that not fire, bro? If that's not fire, I don't know what is. Hey, yo, hey, please, bro, go back. I gotta see that one more time. I gotta see that one more time. Tell me that was not clean as hell. Like, watch this. Hold on. Hold on. That was cool. Okay, here we go. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Uh, let me get a higher position, bro. Get me higher, bro. Let's go. Let <laughs> My boy was like, hey, man. <laughs> good hit, but we can go higher. Dink. Get him out of here. Get out of here, bro. Look, that is like, when Hammer does that, if you get the mount or it ends up being like something really cool, like a KO, that's on time is cool. 
But then if it's not, and you just kind of get launched, and it's like way out the monster's way, it's, it's, it's rather annoying. But I would love to see an actual speed run based off of that. Like just based off of launching hunters in the air at the monster. It'd be kind of funny, but kind of like a little whack-a-mole, like line at the monsters and kind of just yeet them. Maybe like two gray swords and two hammers. Yo, bomb, if you're watching this, and hopefully you understand me, Dude, y'all should do that. That'll be fire as heck. Having two hammer bros and two greatsword mains, because I think they main greatsword, uh, greatsword as well. Um, and have both of them like launch them in the air. Maybe fight like a like a low tier monster. Maybe like I don't know, you know, Dodo Gama or something, and make them really big. And like just make the whole run where you're yeeting each other into the air for the greatsword to come down with the head. I think that'd be fire. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh yeah. Dude, they're doing oh my god. Dude, it doesn't get any cleaner than that. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. Like, look at these bros. They're s disgusting. Like, disgusting. I love these guys. Absolutely phenomenal. Hey man, bomb, way to go, dude. Way to go. Awesome run. I, I don't know what else to say. Guys, you guys need to follow every last one of these hammer mains, bro. Oh, this isn't even bomb. This is um um I'm tripping. This is a uh, uh Mas I'm, I'm probably saying his name wrong. Maseros Ma Wow Maseran Maseranson Maseranson Maseranson? I think I'm saying it right. Oh my god, bro, forgive me if I butchered that name because I definitely did. Like I murdered that thing in its sleep. I promise that was horrible. Yeah, I'm just gonna call you. Massa? Massa? <laughs> Pause. Way out of left field. We're just gonna go to the next one. <laughs> I'm done as hell, bro. Look, I'm done. Next one. <laughs> Alright, guys. Without further ado, bro. Um, let's go ahead and move on to this last one. Dude, I'm so excited. This is uh again bomb, but this time, like I've been saying this whole round, is him and his entire team. When I tell you, bro, the team is lit, it's just lit, bro. Like, I don't know what else to say. Like, they're just fire. And they dominate this space. It's so good. So let's go ahead and just dive into it, bro. I believe, yes, this is Ruiner Nergi Gante. You know we had to do this. There's no way that we're gonna have Hammer Bros and we don't see Nergi Gante get slapped around, getting KO'd. Like, yes, this is him. This is um uh Matador, um Zetin. Um, and I believe this is uh, Masaran uh, as well. I want to say it's Masaran. And bomb. Oh yeah, it's hammer time, baby. Hammer time. Let's go. Night. Night. Let's go. Bro, and they're doing frost craft too. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're cooked. Beep, beep, beep. Oh! <laughs> beep, beep. Bro, is this not scary as hell? Can you imagine four hammer hammer uh hammer mains jumping off a ledge, you know what I'm saying? With like hammers a half a ton each, weighing half a ton. You know what I mean? Just unleashing. Unleashing so much power. I love it. You know, I just thought about an idea. What if they, and this may be a little weird, but what if they kind of changed up like some the way things are modded in, in world? So hear me out. So you know how we have sharpness, right? What if like for blunt weapons instead of sharpness, we had like weight? You know what I mean? Like added weight, or maybe you can add, you can add, oh Jesus, that's so quick. Or maybe you can add like sharpness to your hammer, like adding like a nail in it, or you know, maybe like an ax at the end of it or something. Like kind of like a hybrid-ish kind of weapon type thing going on. What if, what if they ended up doing something like that in wilds? That would be <laughs> wild, bro. I'm dead. But no, I'm just thinking, like, you know what I mean? Like, what if they did that, like, for, like, a stat changer? 
You know what I mean? If they made it to where like you can add certain modifications to your weapon to make it function fundamentally kind of differently, but in the sense of how it deals damage rather than like dealing with the actual moveset. Like the moveset will still be the same, but how it deals damage. Like the hammer actually has like some slashing damage. Um, or um, I don't know. You can make it to where like it's heavier, so it's slower, but though it's slower, like that that element of like speeding up of how fast your weapon hits, like what if they did that? Like Okay, let me expand on this a little bit. So it's kind of like kind of what I'm thinking is like, what if they did it like how they did it? And I don't know if you guys ever played like Call of Duty. Um, Call of Duty, you have like stats on your weapons and you can change and modify your guns based on different attachments. And it changes the speed, changes the reload speed, changes um, how fast a gun fires, the accuracy of it. So what if they did something like that in Monster Hunter being a little bit more detailed as far as the weapons is concerned, but fundamentally changing how it deals damage, not how the weapon... Um, not the weapons move sets, just how it deals damage. Maybe slash damage, make it to where it it swings faster, like like speed wise. Um, maybe it sharpens faster. Like I don't know, it's a thought. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be too opposed to it. It just have to be executed right, and it can't be massively in depth. But it can't be like to the point where like it's kind of pointless. Like it needs to kind of like right in between. You got to hit it on the bullseye. It's either you hit it all the way great or you don't. But I don't know, man. It's just a thought. But anyway, <laughs> all right, guys, let's go to the next one. Okay, guys, I was going to end it on that last one, but I saw this one and I was like, bro, one is so quick. Like it's a fart in the wind <laughs> here today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I mean? But two also in the same breath, bro, like it's nutty. Like, it's like, what? Like, why even, like, bro, it took me so long with my hunting party when I first played it, when when this quest first came out, to actually get this done. And you guys are going to see it. This is the Woodland Spirit, the Ancient Legend. This is the, the Witcher event quest. Um quest that we did and even with fatalis armor oh armor or fatalis weapons it still takes you know a fairly long time you know what i mean maybe like four or five minutes maybe six you know what i mean and even that that's like a decent time you know because he's uh it's a full-on like kind of like a siege almost like a mini siege really um but these hammer bros yeah built different <laughs> all right let's go ahead and watch it make sure we're in uh HD baby. Yeah, it's cool. Sorry guys. Yeah, build different. Look at look. Yeah. Coming in with Assassin Creed Hood. They ain't playing no games, bro. Yeah. Yeah, nice little rock drop. Oh man, yo. I actually Yeah, he's cooked. <laughs> Cooked. I remember this strat actually. Yes, bro. Yeah, he's cooked. 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 KO. Ding, ping, ping. And he has a long KO animation too. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, he's cooked. Fried. Fried. Done. Bonked out of existence. Time to <laughs> debunked him out of existence. <laughs> Yo, yeah, bro, done. Yeah, they're looking at him like, you want me to put the hammer down? Bing, 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 bing. Bing, 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 bing. Aerial hammer is, is, bro. It's too broken. Too broken. Yeah, I don't think he gonna get out of here, bro. He trying. He's trying for the love of God. He's like, bro, just let me out. Please, just let me out. Oh, boy, didn't playing no. Oh, that's smart. If you guys watch what he ended up doing, one of the teammates mounted him and just stayed on him. So that way the other team can actually like just keep dealing damage. Like regardless. Without him moving and trying to get out the location. Yeah, cooked. Cooked. Yeah, turn that boy into mashed potatoes. I mean it's done. Done. Yo, that's that's nutty. They didn't even bother to put on a medicine jewel. They just put attack jewel on. That's crazy. That's not fair. That's not fair. I, I I had to go ahead and do this one just because, like, why? 
did what possessed them like to be this fast in this in this speed run? It's ridiculous, bro. And I haven't seen the election hunt hunt in a while, dude. Yeah, bro. This was this was one of the better event quests that they had uh, for monster for, for base. I think this came out in base. I want to say it did. I may be wrong. But I think it did. But this was a really good like quest line story wise. Like it was great how they implemented him into the uh, into the universe, making him come through a portal. Yeah, dude. Rip the Witcher series. Henry Cavill come back. Oh, sad face. <sighs> I digress. Anyway, hey man, I hope you guys really enjoyed this content, man. Um, please, I say this every single time, but like I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I put all these uh, runners in the description. Follow these guys, man. Uh, support their content support their runs these dudes work hard tirelessly and i'm telling you because even some of the run runners that's on here i've ran with them i know they work tirelessly um so just, just to entertain us you know what i mean so um they deserve your attention the runs are sick insane i love it yes give me more um but yeah dude uh i'll catch you guys in the next one as always <laughs> stay zen